प्रेसिडेंट महिला मोर्चा वानती श्रीनिवासन जी इन चार्ज ऑफ महिला मोर्चा गौतम जी माई कोलीग्स एंड ऑल इंस्पायरिंग मेंबर्स ऑफ महिला मोर्चा एक्सट्रीमली ऑनर्ड टू बी हियर even at the cost of repeating i want to bring some facts before you i'm standing before mahila morcha but i have to very clearly say i've never had the opportunity of being a mahila morcha member <laughs> i've said this a lot of times before i'm saying it even now and uh, that clearly today shows me one deficit <laughs> i come from the same land as uh, vanati I've never had the courage to speak in Hindi. <laughs> Mahila Morcha trains people to speak in Hindi. Look at her reading poems. <laughs> One big thing that I have lost out on. Yes, I should have been in Mahila Morcha so that confidence to speak in Hindi would have been in me. Now I don't have that courage at all. <laughs> I've lost that advantage. But it's it's really admirable. that uh, you know mahila morcha actually gives so much of opportunities for women women from all strata of life and uh, i also will again highlight one point that vanthi shrinivasan had said it's not to uh, undermine anybody's role but i've never in my life gone through mahila category for some reason till that one day when bharatiya janata party approached me and said look we are giving 33% reservation for women at all levels would you please join the party i said what on mahila reservation but it was a point and at home it was a point of charcha and people said a national party because by that time i had been in the national commission for women so a national party is giving reservation for women and in that category they want to take you you should feel honored just shut up and go so i left my home and came and i must say at that time as party general secretary and now rashtra adhyakshi nadda ji was of immense support because for me to come from home and be here all alone having left a family and to be the party spokesperson was a completely different route but yet the entry was because i was a woman and the party chose to give a category of people from women to enter into the party otherwise i wouldn't be here. so the point that i want to tell you is this party actually treats its women so specially and empowers them at every stage some of the points which i wanted to very quickly you know jot down and say smriti ji has actually caught it all up but i will still repeat those days when i was not in the bjp one of the greatest inspiration used to be looking at different women who have come up jayavanti ben used to be one of my big heroines wow look at her dealing with the ministry like that sushma ji was a big inspiration Sumitra Tai I used to interact with her when she was an MP I was in the commission I used to go sit with her she used to live very close to that gurudwara somewhere and what kind of influence she had on me I can't tell you occasionally I had great influence of Vasundhara Rajay ji of course I've read a lot about Rajmata ji being in a party in you know the the kind of power she showed wherever she sat sat next to vajpayee ji and she would radiate the kind of charm she had in spite of being elderly so the point that i'm trying to say and of course just kaur ji meena i've had a lot of time learning from her when i was a member of the commission i used to see her mrudula sinha ji can i miss her what kind of influence i used to grudge my god why can't she speak a bit of any other language she was so good in hindi 
I had my permanent complex in Hindi, but she was fantastic. She was very good in writing. I used to attend reading. The, why I'm ex, uh, elaborating on all this, Maya Singh Ji, again, why am I elaborating on all this? Each of these women come from different backgrounds with different skill sets. They were each on their own so much of already contributing to the society. And these were the people which Bharatiya Janata Party had already given high-ranking positions. So for anybody within the party, it's natural you will be influenced by them. But for people who are outside the party, they stood out. They stood out. And for a party which is seen as very patriarchal, you know, the, the liberals would always say, no, this is a party which is male-dominated. Nothing. We should all stand up and say, tell me such women. Have you seen it in any other party? And one example I will tell you. For all the liberal speech that communists give, Brinda Karath had to struggle to come into the Politburo, by which time Bharatiya Janata Party's parliamentary board already had Sushma ji in it. So the point that I want to highlight here is this party has been encouraging women all the while. And parties like communism, party like CPM, try to talk about women's equality, get the bill, and so on. No bill, nothing. We have showed it in the party. First it was 33%, then we also had very many. And I quote this example again. In Gujarat, when our current prime minister was the chief minister, he would encourage panchayats to choose all members as women and they would give special incentive to that panchayat because all 50 percent, there are very many women members here. I can see Poonam Ben, she can say. This has happened in Gujarat. The education emphasis in Kanya Kelavani was em emphasis in Gujarat. So this party has had this culture of encouraging women at all levels. No wonder this time you had, whether it is your Beti Padao or any other program, take Mudra for instance. It was a bank lending scheme. 70% of who got Mudra are all women. And I proudly say, but for the emphasis that Prime Minister gave, you wouldn't have seen full commissioning of women in the Indian Army, Indian Air Force, Indian Navy. Today, women are there full-fledged. So you can go on picking up examples of how this government has actually worked for upliftment of women. We just don't talk about it as though, you know, it's part of our responsibility, so we are doing it. We don't do just one and go on speaking about it. We've done this, we've done this. We've done so many. So in a party where I've seen from Manya Rajmata ji to Sushma ji to Mrudula ji to Maya Singh ji to Jaskor ji to Jayavanti Ben, today there are so many of them. And in fact, at that time, Shobha ji used also, I used to think, my God, in Karnataka, she was a power minister. And she was dealing with power sector reforms at that time as a minister there. And I'll repeat this anywhere. She doesn't speak about it. So many of us have done so much. And Meenakshi has done wonderfully in the courts here, fighting for women, much before she became a minister. And sometimes when I've heard about the way in which Pratima ji has worked in Tirupura, amazing contribution, each one of us, underlining the point you don't need to come from a very big family. You don't need to have a you know, father or a grandfather or a husband who's you know, somebody politician. It's you who counts. And that's what matters in this party. So without taking much of your time, there are ever so much that we can speak. Each one of us have had our own little struggles to be here. As I said, uh, Vanati correctly uh, recounted if each one of us have had one achievement, the achievement that uh, uh, Smriti has done, just uprooted the dynasty to tell them you are not invincible. You're not invincible. I would come and finish you off. I may belong to your constituency or not. Now you go south. <laughs> one of the big things.
one of the big things and all of us will have to be feeling very proud about these sort of achievements. The quiet Bharati Ben today, I'm sorry, I shouldn't say Bharati Ben to you, Bharati Maharashtra. But what a contribution, Renuka, what contribution? Each of their backgrounds, if we see, is amazing. So not taking more time, this is a party where you're safe, this is a party where you're sure, this is a party, if we are committed to it, you're there. And all of us are absolutely sh safe and you're under good guidance. Every leadership of this party has always encouraged women and I'm primarily indebted to the Prime Minister for having given portfolios which I wouldn't. Now, who am I? Why should I be in defense? Why should I be in finance? Look at the confidence with which Prime Minister has given that responsibility. That makes my shoulder go like this in fear, in, in scare. Can I deliver? Can I do? Can I? No worries. Constant support from the party, constant support from the leadership, constant support from the Prime Minister. And that's what all of us get, not just a few of us. So thank you very much, Mahila Morcha, for having got us all here today. And good luck to all of you.